What's up, guys? So check it out. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I know. I just came back from Sprouts, and I got these foods right here and a gallon of water. Anyways, so I got some oats. And I got oats, oats, and I got some avocados. Okay, you're going to get your vitamins and minerals from, from basically from healthy foods. You're going to get your vitamins and minerals. So one thing that the oats and the avocados are a real good uh, source of is copper. And copper is going to help you with making red blood cells, and it's going to help you with forming collagen. Collagen is a protein, and the body is made up of proteins. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body, which means that your body, out of all the proteins that it's made up of, collagen is the one that it's made up of mostly. It's about 25 to 35% collagen, as far as I understand all the protein in your body so anyways copper there's a good source of copper avocados and oats copper is going to help with iron absorption making red blood cells and forming collagen okay avocados are a good source of healthy fat and they're also a good source of folate and a good source of vitamin k so folate and vitamin k and a good source of vitamin e and vitamin c Okay, so those are vitamin C and vitamin E, powerful antioxidants, and they have a real significant amount. So vitamin C, vitamin E, good source of healthy fats. Also, like I said, a very good source of folate and vitamin K. And uh, also a, good, a really good source of vitamin B5, vitamin B6. Okay, so... You're getting all kinds of minerals and vitamins. So, also, they're a great source of potassium. Okay, potassium is a really important, um, basically, electrolyte or mineral. Okay, now, these are a great source, fair to say, of folate and vitamin K, but tomatoes and potassium, but tomatoes are a good source, so they're not as strong of a source but they're a good source of folate uh, vitamin k and potassium folate is vitamin b9 and folate is needed to make new blood cells and to make proteins okay it's very important for making new blood cells and for making proteins um, vitamin b6 is also very high like i said first of all in avocados but it's also very high in bananas okay vitamin b6 is going to help make hormones that are called tryptophan and serotonin i mean forgive me it's called uh, serotonin and norepinephrine and serotonin one thing that is needed is tryptophan to make serotonin the bananas have serotonin and b6 vitamin b6 is also needed to make tryptophan i mean serotonin so tryptophan and vitamin b6 is needed to make serotonin the banana has the tryptophan and the b6 the avocados also have that good amount of b6 okay so from there i got cucumbers one thing uh cucumbers are good they have this uh unique antioxidant called cucurbitacins 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 all right so that's c u uh c u c u r B-I-T-A-C-I-N-S, cucurbitacins. Anyways, cucumbers have a unique antioxidant content. And like I said, they're called cucurbitacins. Um, lycopene is a unique antioxidant in um, tomatoes. Okay, vitamin E is a, a significantly high in avocados and vitamin C however there is a form of vitamin E called gamma and a form called alpha alpha is what's mostly found it's the vitamin E that's mostly found alpha in foods however walnuts provide gamma gamma vitamin E so that's a lot less common and it has different unique uh, benefits and it's like I said a very strong antioxidant all right from there one last thing I would like to mention magnesium 
Okay, magnesium is something that seems to greatly lack in the average, let's say, American diet, for lack of a better way to put it. Magnesium, okay, seems to be one of the most important um, minerals that lacks in the human diet. So, you're going to get magnesium, you're going to get it a, a fairly good source from your avocados and a fairly good source from your oats. Okay, you're going to get, I would say, a good source. It's a, a good source of magnesium from your oats, a good source of magnesium from your avocados. And that's going to help, first of all, as far as I understand, magnesium helps other essential minerals get transported, for example, in and out of cells. And um, so it's going to help with your nerves. So it's going to help the way your nerves function. And that's also going to help, as far as I understand, your cell health. So you really, that's also going to help with things like anxiety and stress. So magnesium seems, seems to be a super incredible um, mineral that lacks significantly in the average diet. And then there's also good sources of manganese um, in oats and in uh I can't remember which other one, but I, it might be avocado anyways. There is good sources of manganese, uh, I know, in oats. And manganese is a very uh, important part of an antioxidant called superoxide dismutase, which is another powerful antioxidant, superoxide dismutase. So we got superoxide dismutase uh, that is stimulated or produced using manganese. Uh, we got lycopene. We got vitamin E and C, we got cu cucurbitacins, uh, we got gamma, which is a unique form of vitamin E, and also this is just incredibly high in antioxidants in general, uh, in a, like a variety of antioxidants. So lots of antioxidants, um, bananas are also full of them. I'm gonna study a little more about these things, but that's a little bit about what I know. Lots of good sources of fiber as well, and you want that fiber, you know, high water content in the in the cucumbers you want to keep your body hydrated and so i'll leave it at that for now all right so if you guys i encourage you guys to further research these foods and find out why they are so so uh incredible tomatoes bananas avocados walnuts cucumbers and oats all right drink plenty of water spring water preferably and uh hope everybody's having a beautiful day it's a beautiful day over here it started to rain a little, but I love the rain. Beautiful day out here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.